Hi there, I'm Katie and this is the How To Be A Minimalist YouTube channel. Today I wanted to take you along and show you three things that I will be making for our Thanksgiving dinner and dessert. So I would not usually eat a chocolate pie this rich and I would usually not use this many nuts and things like that, but it is Thanksgiving and I plan on having a treat with my family and overall it's way healthier than anything I used to eat. So I wanna show you how I'm going to make these three vegan plant-based recipes for Thanksgiving. Since this video would be way too long if I had all three of these recipes included into one video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make the dinner rolls in a separate video. I will link it down below and so you you can check that out. Since the pie needs a lot of time to chill, I'm gonna go ahead and start out with that. Chocolate cream pie, no oil added crust. We're going to use a nut butter instead of oil for the fat in it, and it is delicious. For this pie recipe, you really can make it a little bit chocolatier if you would like to by adding in just a little bit more cocoa powder, or you can even lessen it if you want it less chocolatey, that's okay too. Let's get cooking. I actually used homemade Brazil nut butter, which just, I don't know, it tastes so good. But you could use any kind of nut butter, really, that you have. I would go with the neutral one. I tried this one because it kind of tastes like shortbread to me. That would be good in pie crust. You definitely want all of your ingredients to be cold when you're making a pie crust. I do find if you just kind of get your hands in there a little bit at the end to make sure that it will like hold its shape when you squeeze it and make sure that that fat is evenly distributed, it just works so much better. really only want to work this until everything comes together. You do not want to overwork pie crust dough. I'm actually going to say that that is pretty good. I'm gonna squeeze it all into a ball and I'm gonna be pretty much done because I do not want to overwork it. It will not be flaky and crispy. It will just be tough and chewy. I know established pie makers would tell me you gotta make sure that you refrigerate it first, but I am on a time crunch, so I'm not doing that today, but you can refrigerate it after you wrap it in plastic wrap for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out. There's the pie crust, it's done, nice golden edges. It is definitely showing the bottom of the pan when I whisk, so I'm gonna take that right off the heat. Thank you. 
If you didn't want to make the crust, if you're just like, I need a chocolate treat, this would make a delicious, seriously, seriously delicious pudding. We actually ate a lot of it that way when I was first developing the recipe, so super yummy as a pie. Or you could also just put these in individual cups and it would be delicious that way too. It needs to chill now and also, I wish that I had an eight inch pie plate. I think that this pudding would work a lot better with um, an eight inch pie plate, just the volume, volume wise, I think it would. You could adjust your ingredients. This is a nine inch pie plate, but an eight inch pie plate would work a lot better. But I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna let it chill for about three or four hours and we'll be eating this for dessert. Next up, I'm gonna be showing you how I'm making soft and fluffy dinner rolls. This is something that traditionally has a lot of egg and butter or oil in, and I have found that using coconut milk instead is so good. Next up is the butternut squash soup recipe. It is so good, so good. And I'm not gonna show you all the details of how to make it exactly in this video, but you'll have to check out the video when it launches. Make sure that your notification bell is on so that you get notified as soon as the soup recipe is uploaded. Let's go make it. And here is the pie. It turned out so pretty. The crust just looks really nice and it's set up really well. So very excited about this one. If you had some coconut whip, that would taste really good on this. You can see, I don't even have a pie cutter, I'm just using a butter knife, but you can see that that really set up well. Again, I wish I had an eight inch pie plate. It would be a lot more full, but you could always adjust up a little bit. You can see like I've got about an inch down. It could have used more filling, but it is so delicious. It's rich and creamy. It is smooth. It's set up really well. It's chocolatey without being too chocolatey. So good. Again, just using a butter knife here, so bear with me. Look at that. Woo, so good. I think from this angle you can better see. An eight inch pie plate would be much better. Or maybe just one and a half times the recipe. I'm probably gonna do that for the actual Thanksgiving day. I'm just making this in advance so that you guys can have this. But look at how beautiful that holds its shape so, so nicely. Also, again, you could, all, you could do the coconut whip. You could do so many different things with the topping here. You could really make it your own. I'm sure it will turn out great.